Greetings, science fans, Roxana here. Ever notice how things fade away, like soda foam, hot coffee, or your phone's value? That's exponential decay, a process where something decreases at a rate proportional to what's left. The more you have, the faster it disappears. As it dwindles, the loss slows. This isn't just math, it's a universal pattern from atoms to economies. Understanding exponential decay reveals the hidden math shaping our world. Ready to see it in action? Let's explore seven fascinating examples. Let's start at the atomic level. Radioactive decay, a process that quietly shapes the world around us. Imagine holding an ancient artifact, something that survived for thousands of years, carrying secrets from a distant past. How do scientists unlock those secrets and determine its age? The answer lies in a remarkable isotope, carbon-14. All living things, plants, animals, even humans, constantly absorb carbon-14 from the atmosphere, keeping its ratio in their bodies steady while they're alive. But when an organism dies, it stops absorbing carbon-14. From that moment, the clock starts ticking as the carbon-14 inside begins to decay. Over time, carbon-14 atoms transform into nitrogen-14, following a precise exponential decay curve that scientists can measure. The more carbon-14 present, the faster it decays. As the amount decreases, the decay slows, like sand trickling through an hourglass. The half-life of carbon-14 is about 5,730 years. After that time, only half of the original carbon-14 remains in the sample. Wait another 5,730 years, and half of that is left, and so on, creating a predictable pattern that acts like nature's stopwatch. This reliable pattern lets scientists date fossils and artifacts with incredible accuracy, revealing the timeline of life on Earth. By measuring the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12, we can essentially rewind the clock and uncover the age of ancient remains. Other elements, like uranium-238, have even longer half-lives, lasting billions of years, allowing us to date the oldest rocks on Earth. That's how we determine the age of our planet, tracing its story back through deep time. The more lead found in a rock, the older it is, thanks to the slow, steady decay of uranium atoms over eons. Every dinosaur skeleton, every ancient fossil, owes its discovery to this silent, invisible process ticking away beneath the surface. Exponential decay is the unsung hero of archaeology and geology, quietly recording the passage of time. It's a constant, reliable countdown, letting us piece together Earth's story one atom at a time. And it's not just for carbon. Radioactive decay is a universal clock ticking away in elements all around us. It's science at its most powerful and precise, giving us the tools to unlock the mysteries of the past. So next time you see a fossil or an ancient artifact, remember? Exponential decay made it possible to know its story. That's the magic of physics at work, revealing the hidden history of our world. Now let's look inside our bodies and see what really happens when we take medicine. Have you ever wondered why the effects of medicine don't last forever, or why you need to take another dose after a certain time? It's all about a process called exponential decay. When you swallow a pill, the drug travels into your stomach, dissolves, and then enters your bloodstream, beginning its journey through your body. Your liver and kidneys act as your body's cleanup crew, working to filter and eliminate the drug, but they don't remove it at a steady pace. The higher the drug concentration in your blood, the faster your body works to clear it out. As the amount drops, the process slows down. This is the essence of exponential decay. Elimination slows as the drug level falls, creating a smooth, predictable curve. Every drug has a half-life, the time it takes for half of the drug to leave your system. This is a key number in medicine. Drugs with a short half-life need to be taken more often to keep working while those with a long half-life can last much longer between doses. Doctors use these mathematical principles to design safe and effective dosage schedules, making sure you get just the right amount. Too much medicine can be toxic, while too little won't help at all. That's why precision matters. Imagine pouring water into a leaky bucket. The more water inside, the faster it leaks out. As the bucket empties, the leak slows down. That's exactly how your body handles medicine constantly balancing intake and elimination. This principle is especially important with antibiotics. If you stop taking them too soon, the toughest bacteria can survive and multiply. As the drug's concentration decays, it gives resistant bacteria a chance to grow stronger, making infections harder to treat. 
completing the full course ensures that all the harmful invaders are wiped out, protecting your health and the health of others. Exponential decay isn't just a math concept, it's a natural process that keeps us healthy and safe every day. It's a life-saving application of a simple mathematical rule used in hospitals and clinics around the world. Science isn't just around us, it's inside us, working quietly with every pill we take. So next time you take medicine, remember the math and science at work behind the scenes, keeping you well, exponential decay, your body's invisible clock, quietly ticking to keep you safe. Let's zoom out to ecosystems and endangered species. Population decline often follows exponential decay. Imagine 1,000 snow leopards losing 10% each year. First year, 900 left. Next, 810. Then 729. The loss slows, but the proportion stays the same. The decline is fastest when the population is largest and slows as numbers dwindle. This makes recovery harder as numbers drop. Conservation is a race against the curve but exponential decay can also help control invasive species. By applying consistent control, we can shrink unwanted populations predictably. Understanding the math lets scientists model and manage ecosystems. Whether saving or controlling species, exponential decay is the key. Populations are dynamic, governed by rates and proportions. Exponential decay reveals the fragility and resilience of life. Science gives us the tools to protect our planet. Now let's talk money, specifically, depreciation. Buy a new car? It loses value the moment you drive it off the lot. Depreciation often follows exponential decay, a percentage lost each year, not a fixed amount. A $30,000 car loses 20% the first year, down to $24,000. Next year, it loses 20% of $24,000, not the original price. The biggest drop is early, losses slow as value decreases. This model helps businesses plan for equipment replacement and taxes. For you, it means understanding the true cost of ownership. Sometimes, buying used makes more sense than new. Depreciation is why cars lose value, while houses hopefully gain. Exponential decay is the silent accountant in your finances. It's math you can take to the bank or away from it. Next time you shop, remember the invisible math at play. Exponential decay, practical, everyday science. Ever notice how hot coffee cools quickly at first, then slows down as it gets closer to room temperature? It's a familiar experience, whether you're in a cafe or at home. That's Newton's law of cooling, another fascinating example of exponential decay in the real world, described by a simple mathematical formula. The rate at which something cools depends on the temperature difference between the object and its surroundings. The bigger the difference, the faster the heat escapes. As the gap between the object's temperature and the room narrows, the cooling process slows down noticeably. The temperature drops sharply at first, then gradually levels off, always approaching but never quite reaching room temperature. There's always a tiny difference left, a reminder that perfect equilibrium is never fully achieved in practice. This law explains why pizza cools rapidly when it's fresh from the oven, but then stays warm for a surprisingly long time. Forensic scientists use Newton's law of cooling to estimate time of death by measuring how quickly a body cools. Engineers rely on it to design efficient cooling systems for electronics, engines, and even buildings. You can even test this law at home. Just measure the temperature of hot water every few minutes and plot your results on a graph. You'll see the curve isn't a straight line, but a smooth bending slope. Exponential decay in action, right before your eyes. Everyday moments, like waiting for soup to cool or your tea to be drinkable, are all governed by this scientific law. Science is everywhere, even in your kitchen, quietly shaping your daily routines and experiences. So next time you sip your coffee, remember, you're witnessing physics in action. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's jump into electronics, where exponential decay powers our devices. A capacitor stores energy, then releases it in a classic exponential decay curve. When fully charged, it discharges rapidly, as voltage drops, the release slows. The rate of discharge is proportional to the charge left, textbook exponential decay. This principle is used in timing circuits, camera flashes, and even defibrillators. For a camera flash, the capacitor dumps energy quickly for a bright burst. In a defibrillator, it delivers a controlled, decaying pulse to restart a heart. Engineers rely on this predictable decay for reliable electronics. The math lets us design everything from blinking lights to life-saving medical devices. 
exponential decay is the invisible force behind modern technology. Next time you see a flash or hear a beep, think exponential decay at work. It's science, and it's electric. Our world runs on these hidden curves. That's the power of physics in your pocket. Finally, let's talk about diminishing returns. A cousin of exponential decay. Add fertilizer to a field. The first bag doubles your yield, the next adds less, and so on. Each extra bag gives a smaller boost. The benefit drops off quickly, then levels out. In finance, the first million in ads brings lots of customers. Each extra million brings fewer. The return on investment decays, just like our earlier examples. Smart companies know when to stop and diversify. The same applies to learning beginners improve fast, but progress slows as you advance. The learning curve flattens, more effort, smaller gains. Understanding this helps set realistic goals and avoid frustration. Diminishing returns teach us about efficiency and balance. Whether in farming, business, or personal growth, the math is the same. Exponential decay shapes our efforts and results. Recognize the curve, and you'll make smarter choices. It's a mathematical principle for a better life. There you have it, exponential decay from fossils to finances medicine to technology. It's the silent process shaping our world, not just a line on a graph. The same curve explains cooling coffee and life-saving drugs. Recognizing this pattern helps us predict, design, and decide smarter. Become a decay detective. Spot the curve in everyday life. Science is everywhere once you start looking. Stay curious.